Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is the fourth video on the five part video series and how to create user registration form in pure PHP. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned how to implement or insert uh, values coming from this form into database and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to implement jQuery and the suite alert to replace our traditional feedback so as you can see if you try to implement or if we try to click on or type in different values here so email at test.com phone number password and then click on sign up so we have the traditional uh, feedback here successfully save which is I think not that intuitive so we're going to implement the suite alert to replace this traditional feedback. And instead of inserting the values to database using pure PHP, we're going to use the power of jQuery to help us insert values to the database without reloading the page. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is to uh, search for the jQuery library okay so we could click on or either on these links but uh, let's try this the first link jQuery and click on the download okay so here we could actually uh, see all the options that we have for jQuery or for including the jQuery to our project so accordingly we can just uh, use the CDN for our jQuery but there are also option here to just use the CDN or are there CDNs coming from some reputable companies such as to Google and Microsoft so they're hosting also the jQuery so for now, let's use this Google CDN. So open this by clicking on this link. Okay, so we could just copy this snippet for 3.x or for jQuery version 3. Point something. So just copy this script and let's go back to our registration that PHP. And before the closing of the body tag, let's paste the script. And below this line, let's test our jQuery if it's working or not. So, dollar sign and then function and close curly parentheses and open close curly braces, semicolon at the end. And first, let's just alert something for the document ready event. So, hello save registration.php and go back to our browser and let's go to our user accounts and registration.php so we have the basic alert or javascript alert that says hello so i think the jquery library is working so the next step will be to include another library which is the suite alert so suite alert will replace this uh, javascript alert pop-up so let's search for suite alert okay so suite alert Actually, there are two versions, uh, Suite Alert and then the Suite Alert 2, which is a newer version than the, the, than the first one. So, Suite Alert 2 is a beautiful, responsive, customizable, accessible replacement for JavaScript pop-up boxes. So, they have here a comparison between the normal alert and the Suite Alert 2. So first, let's show the normal alert by clicking on this button. This is the 
native pop-up coming from the JavaScript. And the second one, uh, show success message. message. So this is the Sweet Alert 2. So as you can see, this is much, much more better than the JavaScript native pop-up alert. So let's go ahead and integrate this Sweet Alert 2 to our project. So go to Insulation and we just have to grab the uh, CDN coming from the JS uh, Deliver. So all we have to do is copy this script or snippet and we just have to paste it below the jQuery library that we have integrated earlier. Okay. And now instead of this alert, we need to uh, call on the Sweet Alert 2 and then fire. And of course, we need to few or define few things here, which are the title. Okay. Title would be Hello World. And text would be this is from sweet layer two and the type will be success. So let's try this. Go ahead and save our file and go back to our browser and refresh our user registration or registration.php okay so as you can see we have here a better and much uh, cleaner pop-up which is coming from the suite alert 2 so hello world this is from suite alert 2 library okay now the next step is to include or to actually work on the jQuery so it would help us to insert values coming from a coming from our form and insert it into the database. Let's go ahead and make some changes to our registration.php. So in our form we have the submit button which is the sign up right so instead let's uh, define an ID for this one for uh, let us say register and inside here let us type in id register if it's click okay this should be function and close here and inside this, let's try the sweet alert if it's working or not. So let's just check the sweet alert. Or once we click the, the button, the submit button, the sweet alert should appear. Okay, so for now, save your file and go back to our browser and refresh our page. And let's try to click on this sign up button. Okay, so we have here the sweet alert. So it means that the script that we're working on is working. Okay, so before that, let's set this aside for now because our primary concern is the values coming from this form. Okay, so let's add some IDs to this field. So first name. Let's just copy this. First name, last name, email, phone number, and password. So this will be last name, of course, email, and phone number and this one is for password so inside here at the function we need to 
declare a variable for our first name okay and then let's get the value by using the val method and specify our id for first name so copy and paste last name email address phone number password one two three four five so this will be for last name and this is for email third one the fourth one is for phone number and of course for the password okay let's indent this so it should be uh, readable okay okay so at this point we could actually perform a validation to these values, right? So first name, last name, email, phone number, password, and so on. But uh, as you can remember, as you can probably remember that we define a required attribute to our fields. So, so we can be sure that the values are not empty. But we could also check for validity of our values. So var is valid equals this dot form dot check validity okay so we're just gonna check if the valid variable is true if it's true let's try to alert true and else false and we need to uh, supply a parameter here and inside the valid is true uh, condition we should prevent the form from submitting because we want to use the jQuery submit instead of the traditional submit of the form. So I think that's it for this tutorial and we will continue uh, implementing this in our last video of this five part video series on how to create user registration form in PHP. Thanks.